Hey guys, welcome back to chapter 3 of Tengami. Uh, last chapter, we were apparently in a pagoda of seasons where we went back and forth between spring, fall, and winter. And we found the second cherry blossom. Anyways, let's continue on in this coastal ocean area. Very soothing with the ocean sound. If I was any more tired, I'd probably fall asleep. <laughs> but it's a good relaxing sound to hear. Uh, I thought I saw something moving behind a tree, but it was just little support struts holding up the paper. See something we have to pull up. What is that? A bridge? Ooh. Is it some inner cliffside? Inner cliffside route? We weave around the back and then come back to the front? Uh, next page... Yep, we go around the back. Unless there's something here. Oh yeah, that go probably goes to the back side again. Um... This is just a very long passageway. Now isn't it? My goodness. We have to go deeper! Brung. Nah, none of that Inception crap. back out here? Oh. Um. Do we go further back? This... I think I might have gotten myself lost. Unless there's hidden items here. I don't know. Uh, let's go further back. There might be something there. Okay, so that was the right route. But I want to go back here, as I want to check if I missed something. Oh, they all led back to the same place. Okay, never mind. So no, so no matter what, you would end up in the same place, unless you technically took a different route. Okay. But it was going the right way. Going on here. Little cave up top. Is that a cutout I pull out? Oh no, no, I slide it. little cavern outcropping created through water erosion. What's this? Oh, not another one of these. <laughs> eh, it's not so bad. Oh, 
But I have to figure several of these out. Oh boy. At least I pulled that one down so I can head all the way back here. Fast. It's a dead end. Yeah, I need to head up, up here. Then... Go any higher? I don't think it does. See if there's anything here. No, there's nothing if I do that. So can I back up here? Ah, oh, darn it! Um... Is there another ledge I can make here? Okay, I can do this. Okay, now I can get back over here. Uh, one giant loop around. Actually, now I need to bring it down twice. No, 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 you go back over here. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm supposed to pull this thing next. Yep. Now then you come all the way around here. That wasn't so bad, I just had to loop you around a few times. <sighs> oh, I also didn't notice I did little cloud cutouts too. That adds even more to the atmosphere at least. Still slide this thing? Okay, good. I almost triggered that by accident. Whoops. Where is the camera? Oh, it instantaneously. Okay. Where do I go from here? Oh wait, I can't go down the cliff side. It's too many rocks to jump down. I think that's the leftmost side of the page. Time to go to the docks and get on a boat. Those three squares seem particularly unique, but I don't know. Oh no! The boat's broken! What do we do now? Oh, puzzle pieces. Hey, little fishy. Fish buddies. Hello. Oh. Just have to fix the boat that way. Oh. <laughs> uh, now what? I mean, he's on the boat. Can he move? Oh, I just have to click out here. Okay. That makes sense. Let's hope an iceberg doesn't come. Ooh, we just saw a little manta ray. Okay, this ear eeriness is a little bit worrying. The cliff formation seems unnatural. Do I just get to open it up? Or I continue going on.
Ooh, lighthouse. This is probably where we're supposed to go. Is there a dock? Oh, that structure right there beside it looks a little bit ominous. Some sort of prison much? Cherry blossoms in that little thing over there. Aww, music cut out. <sighs> That's the only one downside I don't like to this one. The music randomly abruptly cuts off. Hmm. There's another puzzle. There, there's a dial up here. I see the other thing, but what am I supposed to do here? Oh, this thing rotates. Okay. Centerpiece seems missing. Um, do I still keep going around this thing? Camera angle, please change. click anywhere in here. Nope. Keep going. I don't know where to find the center dial. I just went in here and it doesn't show me anything else. Unless there's something on the other side. The camera won't turn. Dang it! Am I supposed to c keep continuing exploring the water? See anything else? Probably they have to go up there, maybe. Can't walk over there. Maybe br I bring the boat back there. Anyways, we'll just have to see. I don't see any other areas that I can dock. any farther back there? Darn. Oh, I see another one there. Okay, so this must be part of the puzzle. Okay. One is lit. Oh, I can't go there. I think it's blocked off. You turn back over here. And then I can go back inside. I think I still have to light the other ones, though. But I'm not sure. Let's figure it out. Okay, so we have fire. Does that mean we are firebending? Fire firebending. The guy's on fire. The book's gonna burn. Nah, no, just kidding. Uh, we still have to go in there. We burn the boat. No. We send it yeah, up in here. Hey, look, guys. It's working. Or it's the Eye of Sauron. Okay, never mind. Oh, do I need the dial to... Hang on, do I need the dial to open this thing? Yeah. Let's go on the other side. It's not gonna let me put a dial... Put it in unless I have the... Wait, there was a hole though. Hang on. Let's just stand on this angle and see if it works. Better try it than having to go full circle all over again. Hmm. 
Does it work? Nope, I can't have access to it. Hooey. Fire the heck out of the windows! Nope. Can't melt them. Boat to set sail and set fires. Definitely know we can't go in there, but it looks like these things are lit up. Maybe I'll find the dial if I keep going further. Should be another one on the other side of this thing. Yep. The other one lit up. Just can't light the last one because I have no idea where the dial is. To uh, lower the thing. Come on. This really far. Wait, what? I don't understand the purpose of flipping this. I still don't get the missing dial. I guess it was just for more of the reach on that, the other page. Hmm, strange textures. What's over here? Ooh, I can dock here. Hmm, the character of three. Sun. Well, this is the third chapter, but I wonder what it's sending us here to. This must be the location of where the dial is. And since the lighthouse wasn't lit, this is what probably happened. This boat crashed. Okay, now there's the character of five, so that's Gore. You still have the axis of fire here, too. Makes me wonder. Burn them? Or do we unlock something that we get a burn later? No, go back up. I was wondering if we can slide the two front panels here, because they look like sliding panels, but I highly doubt it. Hmm. So we went into the third ship. Now we jumped to the fifth ship. Should be. That's the ninth ship, so that's n no wait. Each ni san shi go roku hachi ku yeah, and then ju is ten. I still remember some Japanese I took. Ooh. Um, crap. We'll do this first. Hey, don't slide out of the way. Oh, wait. Uh. Yep, that goes there. That part's open. 
I want to open the top lock. Um, crud. Last character we saw was nine. Wait, hey, hey, let me back in here. So. Oh, we slide it down that way. Okay, I understand. Uh, this was nine. Last one was five. This one was three. Was there a first one I missed? Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, so if it was three and then... Nope. So if this one was nine, I guess I can just try experimenting which one is the right order. I just guess I missed the fourth character. That works. <laughs> Trial and error. Yay, we get the missing dial. Or the cog. Very ornate cog. Okay, so there's the nine. Oh, it showed up when you. Okay. I was blind. That makes sense. I just flipped it too fast and I missed it, so I was right. Okay. Now back out we go. Yeah, I can't believe I missed that. Anyways, let's come on, hurry back. Back on the boat. Access that last little fireball into the lighthouse. That'll prevent all this mishap from happening. So the whole combination was Sang Go Ku Shi. Sang Go Ku Shi. Granted, I took only maybe one s semester in college for fun of Japanese, I still know my characters, but it also helps that I know, uh, still know some of my Chinese characters in growing up, since the numeric system is still the same, for the most part. No to venture! Beyond the cliffs of the blue-green serene. Hey, it rhymed. Didn't mean to make that rhyme. Hee <laughs> hmm. In further notice, they've stuck to mainly the uh, cool color scheme. The ocean following along with blues and uh, a little bit of purples, maybe a hint of like aquamarine green, but for the most part it's blue and purple while the cliffs and the sky uh, go between the blue and green, ignoring the aspect of the fire of course. Yeah, as I said before, I can't get enough of the art artistic design they've done throughout this game. I mean, even with the uh, last one, especially with the colors of Fall, where they were messing around- not messing around, but where they utilized using the reds and oranges, and then maybe a little bit hint of the light yellowish green.
And even with the, uh... No, well, the first map, they did more of complementary colors that uh, reflect across the uh, color wheel. But that's also pretty cool. Yeah, as I said, I can't get enough of it. Though most of the artistic terms uh, fail, f fail me out of my vocabulary, um, I still recognize all the, the, key, the key concepts they've put within artistic design in this game, which make it so naturally uh, beautiful and just wonderful to look at. And let's get that stupid cog in there and get that last fireball to light this tower up. Whoosh. So the windows can finally go down, and we can put the fire in. No more accidents. Oh, we have to turn it. Rotating? Oh, we have to bring it up. And... Now we can go. I don't think we need to close it up. It's not any fire hazard or it's going to be blown out. It's still a lighthouse and I don't see any mirrors that reflect. Anyways, let's get on that boat and get out of here. Because that sound already triggered, which means we have the other tag lit up. Now the eerie music is appropriate, because that tagged area, if I recall... I mean, I don't claim to know a lot of anything of, like, Shinto or whatever anything is, but I've seen those little tags before within uh, uh, an anime I was watching about yokai, and these are usually used as a barrier to keep spirits out or something. pulling here. Oh yeah, it's a barrier. Yeah, those tags are usually used as a way of sealing to keep something in or to keep something out. Now let's enter the ghostly cavern. <laughs> 